Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic. This week we'll be talking about silica dust awareness and prevention in concrete breaking. Also safeguarding against silicosis. Concrete breaking activities can expose workers to hazardous levels of silica dust a known respiratory hazard that can lead to serious health issues such as silicosis. Silicosis is a progressive and irreversible lung disease caused by inhaling crystalline silica particles. To ensure the safety and well-being of all workers involved in concrete breaking tasks, it is essential to raise awareness about silica dust exposure and implement effective preventative measures. Here are some key points. Understanding silica dust. Silica is a naturally occurring mineral found in many construction materials, including concrete. The process of breaking or cutting concrete can generate respirable crystalline silica dust, posing a significant health risk when inhaled. Let's talk about the health risk of silicosis. Silicosis can result from prolonged exposure to respirable crystalline silica dust. Symptoms may include coughing, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. Silicosis can lead to long-term complications, including increased susceptibility to respiratory infections, and a higher risk of developing other lung diseases. Let's talk about some of the measures. This is what this toolbox talk is about. Utilize engineering controls such as water suppression system, local exhaust ventilation, or a dust collection system to minimize silica dust generation. Also use appropriate personal protective equipment including respirators with the proper NIOSH approved filters. Conduct a thorough risk assessment before starting concrete breaking activities to identify potential silica dust exposure points. Now, if you go to OSHA.gov, you can look up table one under the silica standard and it has a multitude of uh, concrete breaking, concrete drilling, coring operations, and they've already done the studies on it to give you uh, what you need to do as far as protecting yourself uh, during those operations, whether it be uh, an integrated system or a proper system that delivers water or a vacuum system, and some of them are integrated, some of them are just a separate system that have to be used. All that's listed in Table 1, so be sure and check that out. But let's talk about respiratory protection. Be sure to select the right type of respirator based on the silica dust concentration and work environment. And it may be, you may have to wear it all day. You may not need to wear one at all. Like I said, consult uh, your uh, silica uh, standard table one. Ensure that workers are trained on the correct use, maintenance, and limitations of respiratory protection equipment. Also, there's hygiene. Encourage good hygiene practices, including proper hand washing and avoiding touching the face to minimize the risk of ingesting or inhaling silica dust. Establish designated break areas away from the concrete breaking site to reduce the risk of silica dust exposure during rest periods. Training and communication. Provide comprehensive training to workers on the hazards of silica dust exposure and the importance of preventative measures. Foster open communication channels for reporting any concerns or incidents related to dust exposure, silica dust exposure. And then think about uh, regular health monitor uh, monitoring. Implement a health monitoring program to access and track workers' respiratory health. Encourage workers to seek medical attention if they experience any symptoms related to silica dust exposure. In conclusion, 
Prioritizing safety and concrete breaking operations requires a collective effort to minimize silica dust exposure and prevent the onset of silicosis. By understanding the risk, implementing effective, implementing effective controls, and promoting a culture of safety, we can create a work environment that protects the health and well-being of all workers involved in concrete breaking activities. All right, boys and girls, that's the topic. Remember, when you talk about this, there's some, some basic things. There's respiratory protection. We're always worried about how much of that dust they're taking in. And then we have all the engineering controls and all the PPE that can be combined together to protect the worker from, from that uh, silicosis, from that silica dust. Uh, once again, if get with your safety professional and talk about table one, talk about the work that needs to be done. There's also Concrete Cutters and Corer Association. They've done a lot of research on uh, all types of activities from pouring concrete to coring concrete to breaking concrete. They've done all the studies and they, they have determined what protection is needed for that type of operation. Uh, also, OSHA.gov, OSHA.gov, look under the, the silica standard. Uh, there's a table one and it has a multitude of, of tasks that are done that uh, they've already done the research on and they, it, it talks about uh, what measures need to be taken to prevent uh, 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 exposure to the uh, silica dust. Anyway, listen, respiration you want to you want your team you want to grow to be old and enjoy your grandchildren and have the ability to run around the yard with them and have a lot of fun and be able to take the deep breaths and enjoy uh, your later years in life so think about that when you're out there performing that work if you have any questions on this subject you like i said get with your safety professional hell you can get with me i don't mind uh, and we'll put together some kind of program. I'll lead you down where you need to go to find this information to protect your health. Anyway, that's it. Uh, mm, mm. If you found this information useful, make sure that you give me a, a thumbs up. Okay, that tells the algorithm you like what I'm doing. Uh, and also make sure that you subscribe down below there. And uh, that tells the algorithm that you're getting information and it'll promote and uh, be sure to visit the channel. I've got uh, over 300 videos uh, for safety topics. Uh, so take care of yourself. Uh, you're number one. Look out for your coworkers and help ensure their safety. And remember, have a grateful day. And I'll see you in the next one.